Harvard scientists, in collaboration with NASA, have just dropped a revelation that stunned the astronomical community. A mysterious interstellar object named 3I Atlas may not simply pass through our solar system. According to brand new calculations, there is a chance, however slim, that it could collide with Mars. And if they're right, the red planet may soon face a visitor unlike anything it has experienced in modern recorded history. But what exactly is this mysterious object, and what happens if it actually slams into Mars? It began as a whisper in the night sky, no brighter than a faint smudge of light. It's um, about 10 times uh, bigger at the very least uh, relative to uh, the previous interstellar object, and uh, maybe even uh, 50 times uh, bigger than the first interstellar object. On April evenings, the Atlas Survey Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System picked it up drifting across the stars. At first, astronomers logged it as another unremarkable object, the kind that appears and disappears countless times each year. But as tracking stations gathered more data, unease spread. The trajectory made no sense. Unlike familiar asteroids that circle the Sun in closed ellipses, this one followed an open-ended hyperbolic path. That meant it was not born here. It was not bound to our Sun. It came from interstellar space, carrying with it the mystery of distant stars. Interstellar visitors are astonishingly rare. The first ever confirmed was Oumuamua in 2017, a cigar-shaped enigma that sparked endless debate. Then came Comet Borisov in 2019, a far more classic cometary body. Now, only the third of its kind, 3I Atlas, has entered our neighborhood. Each one of these objects rewrites what we know about the galaxy, but this one carries something the others did not – danger. At speeds exceeding 60 kilometers per second, it tore through the outer solar system. It wasn't just passing by, its path curved alarmingly close to the orbit of Mars. That realization would set off one of the most urgent calculations in planetary science. At Harvard's Center for Astrophysics and NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, teams ran the numbers again and again. Orbital mechanics is a game of precision. A shift of a single kilometer per second can mean missing a planet by millions of miles or hitting it dead on. The new simulations, they were grim. They revealed that 3I Atlas carried a non-zero probability of colliding with Mars. The number sounded small, 0.02%. But in cosmic terms, that is alarming. The asteroid that doomed the dinosaurs had even smaller odds before it finally struck Earth. What made this particularly nerve-wracking was how rapidly the odds could change. Each night of new data narrowed the cone of uncertainty. The margin between a harmless flyby and a catastrophic collision was razor-thin. In orbital diagrams, Mars sat within a shrinking wedge of possible futures. Harvard scientists compared it to threading a cosmic needle. If the trajectory shifted by only a few thousand kilometers, Mars could be erased from the list of safe outcomes. NASA, cautious but concerned, released preliminary notes warning of the possibility. For the first time, a world other than Earth found itself officially listed as a potential target of an interstellar strike. To grasp the danger, imagine the impact. Estimates place 3I Atlas between 100 and 300 meters across. On Earth, that size could level an entire region, even a small country, if it struck at cosmic speeds. On Mars, traveling at hypervelocity, the devastation would be profound. The collision energy would rival thousands of nuclear detonations. The explosion would carve a crater dozens of kilometers wide, possibly rivaling Arizona's meteor crater, but on a much grander scale. Shockwaves would rip through the planet's crust. Mars quakes would rumble across valleys and mountains, shaking the already fractured world. Dust and rock would be hurled into the sky, forming a towering mushroom of debris. On Earth, such an event could blot out the sun. Mars, with its thin but dusty atmosphere, would see a veil of fine particles spread globally within days. Sunlight would weaken, surface temperatures would rise, and the planet's already hostile environment would grow even harsher. For rovers like Perseverance and Curiosity, dust would clog instruments and dim solar panels. Orbiters could struggle to see through the haze, and for future astronauts hoping to land, the surface would transform into a scarred, unstable terrain. 
This wouldn't be extinction. It's not large enough for that, but it would be a catastrophe written in stone. The timing could hardly be worse. Today, Mars is alive with exploration. The Perseverance rover is drilling into ancient sediments, hunting for biosignatures. Curiosity continues its decade-long mission, reading the chemistry of Martian soils. The Ingenuity helicopter, though past its prime, still represents a leap for human ingenuity. Above them, orbiters like MRO and ESA's Trace Gas Orbiter relay data back to Earth. All of these missions are fragile. A direct strike near Gerozo Crater could obliterate Perseverance in an instant. Even a far-off impact, it might smother solar-powered instruments under layers of dust. Communication relays could falter, billions of dollars and decades of science could vanish. And then there's the human dream. Mars is not just another planet, it's the frontier, the place where SpaceX and NASA envision colonies, habitats, and the first human footsteps on another world. A massive strike could alter landing sites, bury resources, and destabilize climate predictions. In one night, humanity's blueprint for Mars could become obsolete. But here's the irony. The most likely outcome, a near miss, may be almost as troubling. If 3i Atlas passes close enough, Mars's gravity could bend its path, flinging it unpredictably deeper into the solar system. A harmless pass near Mars could turn into a long-term threat to Earth. There's also fragmentation. If the object is weak and icy, tidal stresses could tear it apart. Instead of one rock, we could face a shotgun blast of fragments, each capable of devastating spacecraft or settlements. A rain of interstellar shards could turn Mars into a graveyard of machines. Even without impact, a skim through Mars's thin upper atmosphere could disturb gases, triggering unexpected storms or releasing frozen carbon dioxide from the poles. Mars is delicate, and a brush with an object moving at tens of kilometers per second could leave scars invisible to us but profound for its climate. Time is the enemy. Every day that passes without precise data widens uncertainty. That's why the world's telescopes are locked onto 3i Atlas, measuring its position with obsessive accuracy. The Vera Rubin Observatory in Chile, not even fully operational, has been drafted into the effort. Radar arrays bounce signals off the object, trying to read its size and spin. Early signs suggest a chaotic tumbling motion, which complicates trajectory forecasts. Supercomputers turn out Monte Carlo simulations, hundreds of thousands of futures, each slightly different. In most, the object misses Mars. In a handful, it strikes. With every new observation, the cone of uncertainty narrows. The question is whether it narrows to safety or disaster. For planetary scientists, the urgency is visceral. These are not abstract numbers. These are futures that could unfold within our lifetime, before our eyes. It's tempting to breathe easy. After all, Mars is the target, not us. But Earth cannot afford to be complacent. Mars is our testbed for survival. Billions in technology are scattered across its surface. Human dreams of colonization rest on its soil. If Mars is struck, the setback would be global, not local. More importantly, 3i Atlas is proof that interstellar objects are not benign curiosities. They are bullets fired randomly across the galaxy. Earth has been hit before, it will be hit again. The DART mission proved we can nudge a small asteroid, but an interstellar rock moving at blistering speeds is another challenge entirely. If 3i Atlas strikes Mars, it's a wake-up call. If it misses, it's a warning shot. Either way, the message is clear. We are vulnerable. Even if we look back in time, the sky tells a story of violence. 66 million years ago, the Chicxulub impact ended the age of dinosaurs. Jupiter bears scars from comet shoemaker Levy 9, whose fragments exploded in its atmosphere in 1994 with energies dwarfing Earth's nuclear arsenal. Mars itself wears the evidence. Vast basins like Hellas and Argaia are ancient wounds left by cosmic blows. Olympic Mons, the tallest volcano in the solar system, may have been influenced by impacts that reshaped the crust. Now, in real time, we may be about to witness history repeat. The universe has never stopped throwing stones. We've just been lucky enough for a while to dodge them. In the next few weeks, clarity will come. Each observation shrinks uncertainty, 
If the impact probability drops below 1 in 1,000, Mars is safe. If it climbs above 1 in 1,000, emergency protocols kick in. Mission controllers may adjust orbiter positions, brace for dust storms, or alter rover schedules. Contingency plans for communications blackouts could be tested. And if the odds rise still higher, the first real planetary defense discussions beyond Earth may begin. The clock is ticking. Somewhere in the darkness, 3 Eye Atlas tumbles on, indifferent to our fears. We can only watch, calculate, and prepare. 3 Eye Atlas is no enemy, it's pure momentum. But that momentum could scar Mars, erase decades of work, and remind us just how fragile we are in a cosmic shooting gallery. The universe doesn't care about our plans, so we wait. Because even a fraction of a percent is enough to keep us awake at night. This story isn't over. Subscribe for updates and let us know in the comments below, will 3i Atlas strike or slip into the dark?